I'm going to show you guys how to differentiate inverse sin x. Unfortunately, we don't know this form too well, right? But we do know that we can write inverse sin x in terms of ln of something, right? Be sure you check out my other video, I have show you guys how to do that. And in this video, I'll just show you guys the result. To differentiate this, it's the same as saying, let's go ahead and differentiate the equivalent form, which is ln parentheses x plus square root of x squared plus 1, like this. Okay, and now we can get to work for the derivative. The derivative of ln of something is first 1 over this thing right here, right? So I put this into the denominator, which is x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And then do what? Chain rule. So look at the inside function right here and multiply by the derivative. I have two terms, so that's why I open the parentheses. The derivative of x is just 1. And right here, what's the derivative of square of something? Let me put on the plus first. The derivative of square of something is first 1 over 2 square root of the inside, which is x squared plus 1, right? However, in terms of this part right here, we have to do the chain rule once again. We have to ask ourselves, what's the derivative of x squared plus 1? It's just 2x, right? So I have to multiply by 2x right next to this term only. Okay, so once again, altogether, the 1 is the derivative of x, and this right here is the derivative of square root of x squared plus 1. And so you see that the 2 and 2 cancel, and this is what we have at the moment. Right here we have 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Parentheses, 1 is still the 1, and then we add it with... I can put the x on the top, so I'll do that, over, I can put this on the bottom, of course it's still on the bottom, right? <laughs> and this is what we have. Can we simplify this? We, we should try, right? First of all, inside here, we're adding things, and it's a fraction, so let's get the common denominator. Right here, let me just multiply the 1 by square root of x squared plus 1 on the bottom, and also do the same on the top, like this. And now you'll see, okay, the outside is still the outside. 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And the inside here. Now they have the same denominator, so I'll just put them down together right here with the same denominator, x squared plus 1. On the top, this is just square root of x squared plus 1. And then we add it with this, which is just x. That's what we have. What can we do? Well, you see that the numerator here and the denominator here, they are exactly the same thing, right? Well, the order doesn't matter because I'm just adding, right? Therefore, I can just cancel, cancel. Finally, you see that we just have 1 on the top over square root of x squared plus 1. So, in conclusion, the derivative of inverse sinh x, this is equal to that. 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. And we are done. Da 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 da.